Who inspires you? That's an easy question, easier question for me to answer. My parents. They inspire me, they have inspired me, they always will inspire me. My parents are an absolute inspiration um, to my life and to, um, to the way I live my life. Uh, my parents came here a long time ago, they came here in the 70s and, uh, and I was born in this country. This is my, this is my town, London. And, um, you know, my parents inspire me for right from the beginning of their story when they came to this country uh, young, you know, and so much hope and all this kind of like innocence um, and have gone on to be successful people and have careers and, you know, um, and build foundations here. And um, they're massively an inspiration for me um, uh, to be a good person and to be a good mum and to be a good wife. And then also from my mum, you know, she was a working mum. She was a social worker for many years. Um, and I saw her as a role model. She is a role model to me and she balanced work-life balance. She had two kids and she was able to juggle a lot. And she's massively the reason why I am the way I am now. So they are, both of them, massive inspirations. Is there, is there any inspirations uh, with, within um, the creative process, is there someone that you, you look at and say they've, they've achieved great heights or, or they're acclaimed in that field? Would you say there's anyone that inspires you in that type of um, category? Yes, definitely. I think creatively, in the creative industry, I have inspirations um, in the fashion world. I have, um, I think the editor of Vogue, Edward uh, Enningville is someone that is a huge inspiration to me. He's the first black editor um, of Vogue and he's broken so many boundaries um, and still is actually. So I think f for me, massively, um, it doesn't, it's not close to only interior design or flowers related. Um, I think a creative is a creative no matter what, no matter what um, path they, ta they take. So um, I'd definitely say editor of Vogue Edward Eddingfall. I also was hugely inspired while I was studying by Zaha Hadid, who is an Iraqi born but British brought up um, architect. And she was a massive, massive role model for me. Um, she passed away sadly a few years ago, but still inspires me so much. Her, the, uh, the, the, the style of her architecture is um, memorable and it's, it's, she's still a huge name in the industry. Um, and I think her coming from an Iraqi background and studying interior architecture, it was great for me to see someone, if I'm honest, somebody that was from an a, a ethnic background mm. and that had gone on to do so many amazing things. She was huge for me, yeah. So. Okay. Do you have any mentors? At the moment, I don't... Um, I don't know if I can call my brother my mentor. Mm. I have a, one older brother, so we're very close. Um, he is a mentor in, to in terms of life skills, finance, property, you know, all of these um, very, maybe not creatively, but very much um, has taught me uh, life skills that actually have taken me quite far. Um, so I'd say that my brother is definitely a mentor of mine. He's, he's the person I call up if you know, I need to talk something finance related. Mm. And you always need someone like that in your life, you know? Um, so he would, he would definitely take that, take that space. Yo. Yo. I don't need a coach. I don't need advice. Okay, right, good time,